Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over four worked examples to show you how to do problems involving combination circuits, which are also known as mixed circuits. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says to find the total resistance of the following combination, and this is actually the first one from the theory video on combination circuits. So we have a 50 ohm resistor there in series with two 50 ohm resistors in parallel. So what we need to realise here is that in order to get the total resistance, we can add this one to this one until we know what the answer to this one in parallel is. So this means we need to first find the parallel combination and then the series combination. So in order to do this for our parallel combination first, we can write down what we know from the question. So we're trying to find RT, we know that R1 is 50 ohms and R2 is 50 ohms, so writing down our equation, we have 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, and substituting in the numbers gives us 1 over 50 plus 1 over 50, which simplifies to 2 over 50, and then we need to flip both sides to get RT. So we get RT equals 50 over 2, which gives us 25 ohms. And now what we need to do is we need to take our answer to this total resistance in parallel and add it to our series resistor of 50 ohms. So we get, for series, RT is what we're trying to find, R1 is 50 ohms, and R2 is 25 ohms. So writing down our equation for resistors in series, we have RT equals R1 plus R2, and putting in the numbers gives 50 plus 25, which equals 75 ohms. Now that was quite a long way to find the total resistance of this combination, but a quicker way to do this is by noticing that we have two resistors in parallel that have the exact same value. So if you have two or more resistors in parallel with each other that have the exact same value, then what you can do is take the value of one of your resistors and divide it by how many resistors you have in parallel. So in this case I've got two identical resistors in parallel, so if I take the resistance of one of them, which is 50 ohms, and divide it by how many resistors there are, which is two, that gives me the total resistance of this combination combination which is 25. So if I had another 50 ohm resistor in parallel there, then I would do 50 divided by 3 to find the total resistance. Or if there was a fourth resistor in parallel there, 50 divided by 4 to find the total resistance in parallel. And because there's only 2, we've said that's going to be 25, and then I could just add the 25 to this 50 to find 75 ohms total for the combination. Question 2 says to find the total resistance between points X and Y. And again, this is actually the second example that I showed you in the theory video for the combination circuits. So here's X and Y. So in order to find the total resistance here, we need to consider the total resistance of these resistors. So we've got a 2000 ohm resistor and a 4000 ohm resistor in series, and this is in parallel with this 2000 ohm resistor here. So the easiest thing to do here would be to first find the series combination of the 2000 plus the 4000, and then the parallel combination of the answer of that in parallel with the 2000 ohm resistor. So doing the series combination first, we have the RT is what we're trying to find, R1 is 2000 ohms and R2 is 4000 ohms, just changing the kilo ohms into ohms here by timesing by 1000. So writing down our equation, we have RT equals R1 plus R2, which equals 2000 plus 4000, which gives an answer of 6000 ohms. And then for the parallel combination, we can do RT is what we're trying to find, R1 is 6000 ohms from there, and R2 is 2000 ohms. So doing this in parallel, we have 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Substituting in the numbers gives 1 over 6000 plus 1 over 2000. And notice here the lowest common denominator is going to be 6000, so we can leave that one alone. And 2000 goes into 6000 three times, so I need to times the top and bottom here by 3. So I get 1 over 6000 plus 3 over 6000, which gives me 4 over 6000. And then to get RT, I need to flip both sides. So we get RT equals 6000 over 4, which equals 1500 ohms. Question 3 says to calculate the total resistance of the circuit shown. And this one looks a wee bit trickier than what we've done so far. So we've got two 20 ohm resistors in series, and that is in parallel with a 40 ohm resistor. And then we've got this 15 ohm resistor on its own over at the side. So the easiest thing to do here would be to first find the series combination, which is this one here, and then find the parallel combination of that answer in parallel with the 40 ohm resistor, and then we can add that whole answer of that total resistance to our 15 ohms in series. So this one's actually got three parts, series, then parallel, then series. So writing down what we know for the first series combination, we're trying to find RT. We know that R1 is 20 ohms and R2 is 20 ohms. So quite simply, RT equals R1 plus R2 equals 20 plus 20, which equals 40 ohms. Now we need to do the parallel combination of this answer with the other 40 ohm resistor. So we get RT is what we're trying to find, R1 is 40 ohms and R2 is 40 ohms. So writing down our equation, we get 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. 
and substituting in our numbers, we get 1 over 40 plus 1 over 40, which gives 2 over 40, and now we flip both sides to get RT equals 40 over 2, which equals 20 ohms. Another way you could see this is because we've got two 40 ohm resistors in parallel now, remember we can do our little trick because they're identical values, we can take the value of one of the resistors and divide it by two because there are two resistors. So we get 40 divided by two is 20 ohms. And lastly, for our last series combination, we're trying to find RT. We know that R1 is 15 ohms and R2 is our answer there to the total parallel combination of 20 ohms. So writing down our equation, we have RT equals R1 plus R2. Substituting in the numbers gives 15 plus 20, which equals 35 ohms. Lastly, question 4 says to calculate the total resistance of the circuit shown. So we have a battery there, and then two 40 ohm resistors in parallel on the right hand side, and three 60 ohm resistors in parallel on the left hand side. Now, notice how these things are also in series with each other, so we're going to have to think about parallel and series combinations. So what we need to do here is first find the two parallel combinations separately and then the series combination of the answer to that added on to the answer of that one. Now we could use the trick here for parallel resistors because they all are identical values but that won't always be the case in questions and so I'm going to show you how we can do that first and then I'm going to prove using the equations that those are the actual answers we should get. So notice how on the right hand side we've got two 40 ohm resistors. So the total resistance of this will be half of one of them. So that is 40 divided by two, which gives me 20 ohms there. And because there's three resistors on the left hand side and they're all identical, if I take the value of one of them and divide it by three, then I get 60 divided by three, which gives me 20 ohms for that total resistance there. So that gives me 20 ohms there in series with 20 ohms there. So if I add those together, I should get 40 ohms as my final answer. Now let's prove that by using the equations. Now the first parallel combination we'll do is the 60 ohm resistors. So trying to find the total resistance, we have R1 equals 60 ohms, R2 equals 60 ohms, and R3 equals 60 ohms. And writing down our equation, we have one over RT equals one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. Substituting in the numbers, we get one over 60 plus one over 60 plus one over 60, which gives three over 60. And flipping both sides now, we get RT equals 60 over three, which equals 20 ohms. For the second parallel combination now, we're trying to find RT. We know that R1 is 40 ohms and so is R2. So writing down our equation, we have one over RT equals one over R1 plus one over R2, which equals one over 40 plus one over 40, which equals two over 40. And flipping both sides now, we get RT equals 40 over two, which equals 20 ohms. And lastly, for the series combination, we need to add our two answers together. So we're trying to find RT. R1 is 20 ohms and R2 is 20 ohms. So we get RT equals R1 plus R2, which equals 20 plus 20, which gives us a final answer of 40 ohms, as expected. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.